Today I'm going over the 12 volt battery terminal fix for the Fisker Ocean. Thanks to the guys at Fisker Ocean One Society on Facebook, Gregory, Nick, and Benjamin for getting this figured out. They got some inside info from Fisker Service about this issue. This does not affect every Fisker Ocean. The 12 volt battery is disconnected for shipping. There is a plastic piece inserted so that the negative terminal is not connected. At arrival, when reconnected, some of the terminal leads are placed in the wrong position. This may cause problems with the 12 volt battery sensor. That's what we're going to fix today. Here are the tools and items we'll need for this project today. A pair of insulated work gloves, the front hood opening kit, which includes a plastic pry bar, and a 13 millimeter socket that is magnetic and is at least five or six inches long to reach inside to get that bolt. Next, we have a 10 millimeter and 13 millimeter sockets. These are gonna be used for the two sizes of bolts that we're gonna encounter. Next, we have a regular ratchet wrench and a mini ratchet wrench. Uh, either works fine. I did find that the mini one works really well in tight areas, such as the top of the bracket that you'll see in the video. So keep that in mind. I'll have links for all these items in the video description. See my detailed video on how to open the hood. Remove the service lid panel using the plastic pry bar. Then using the 13 millimeter socket driver, remove the two bolts that are holding the hood in place. Put these parts aside for now. Gently pull up the hood until the bracket snaps into place on the left side hinge. Now we're ready to start. We need to remove this bracket right here. It has eight bolts that are keeping it fixed in place. We have two 13 millimeter bolts here, two 13 millimeter bolts way in the back, we have two 10 millimeter bolts here and two 10 millimeter bolts here. So we need to get all of those out, not drop any of them. And then this whole piece will be removed and we'll have access to the 12 volt battery terminal underneath. Okay, my first roadblock. On my Fisker Ocean, there's an emergency plug attached to the top of the bracket. It has a one-way grommet holding it on and I don't want to break it. Also, there's a hose attached to the rear of the bracket under the fender area. Both of these items are not allowing me to remove the bracket. 
So after looking at it for a bit, I found that I could gently move the bracket to my right towards the center of the car. I used a plastic pry bar to help move it. The end of the bracket is now placed to the left of one of the coolant caps and is kept from moving. Now I have a better view of the negative thermal of the 12 volt battery. There are two nuts that need to be loosened. Make sure not to remove the lead from the battery terminal. This can cause some features to be disabled on the car and thus requiring calibration on the system from a mobile tech. As you can see here, the negative cable is folded against the terminal of the battery, which is causing the black plastic component, the battery sensor, to have issues. Use the ratchet with the 10 mm socket and loosen both of the nuts that you see here. Loosen them just enough so that you can move the wiring around. Now, take hold of where the cable attaches to the bolt on the back. Gently pull on it to straighten it out. When you're done, the cable should be going straight into the sensor, and the sensor itself should be at a right angle to the terminal. And that's it, a pretty simple adjustment that can make a huge difference in alerts that the car may display. It should also help the high voltage battery better charge the 12 volt now that the sensor is not an issue. Take the ratchet with the 10 millimeter socket and now tighten both of the nuts. Do this tight enough so that the terminal connections do not move. Now you can move the bracket back to its original position and then insert and tighten all eight bolts in their correct locations. Make sure you don't leave anything under the hood area, and then press the lever on the driver's side hinge. Push up on the hood a little bit while doing this, and then you can slowly lower the hood until it's all the way down. Insert the two bolts and tighten them with the 13 millimeter socket driver. And then finally, place the service lid on the front with the divot facing up to match the light bar. Push all of the clips in around the service lid and then check to make sure it is flush around the outside edges. You're now done. By the way, before starting, take a peek below the bracket and try to view the negative terminal area. If it looks like the after image, then you're set and you don't need to perform this fix. If not, then you may be able to reach the negative terminal without removing the bracket Worst case scenario is that you do have to take it off to reach that area. It will be interesting to see if this can help eliminate the number of warning messages and keep the 12 volt battery properly charged. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please leave any comments or questions down below. See the links in the video description for any of the items used. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.